I've been here before. It's too grimy to see anything through, but there's daylight and the streets don't look too busy. These are both good things. No handle. I can't open it. There's dust everywhere. The inn must have closed down a while ago. I wonder what happened to the proprietor, Ben Rime. She helped me out first time I came here. It's too grimy to see anything through, but there's daylight and the streets don't look too busy. These are both good things. There's dust everywhere. The inn must have closed down a while ago. I wonder what happened to the proprietor. Ben Rima. It doesn't look like anyone's taking care of this place anymore. I mean, that's an actual hole in the roof. It's too grimy to see anything through, but there's daylight and the streets don't look too busy. These are both good things. The only way out of here, unless I somehow gained the power of flight on my trip across. I did not. Crow? Ah! Ah! What's the matter? You scared me! You scared me? What are, you, what are you doing here? How did you find me? I didn't. I mean, okay, I did. You're standing right there, so technically, yes, I found you. But I wasn't looking. This is my nest. Don't judge. It's a roof over my head. Well, a semi-roof. A roof that once was... Where are we? The Journeyman Inn. I mean, it was once. Now it's a dump. The Journeyman... Oh, of course. What about the innkeeper, Ben Rime? She was nice to me. Dead and gone like everyone else, I suppose. I have to admit, I thought you were dead too. Last time I saw you, poof, vanished. I'm still a bit vague on the details. I don't remember much from last year. Me neither. After your disappearing act, next thing I remember, I was in Sidir. I just got back to Mercuria, which is why, you know, this place. Sadir? Home to the Azadi. Those armored folks with exciting facial hair and a terrible allergy to magic? I remember the Azadi. Being a talking bird in a place where they hunt magicals for sport? Boy, let me tell you, I'm... Maybe later. I need to find a way out of here. Hey, do you remember meeting me in a dream? I remember dreaming about you last night. Wait. How do you know about my dream? It was my dream, too. You're invading my dreams now? Oh. Oh, God of Ravens, I hope you didn't see the one with the chickens and, uh... <clears throat> Did Abnaxus say anything more after I left? The lumpy fella who looks like he's been repeatedly beaten with an enormous ugly stick? Yes, he did. To be honest, I can't follow what he says half the time, but it was something to the effect of... Bring her here. 
You will have brought her here. You will bring her here. You had have will be, etc., etc., etc. I believe the basic theme was, you know, something about bringing someone somewhere. But don't hold me to that. That place in the dream, where is it? You're asking me? I have no idea. I had a dream, that's all. It was a big white space that could be literally anywhere. I I'm guessing the North Pole? I don't think that's it. The South Pole? Abnaxus said something about the children of the Purple Mountains. The, the Ula. Ooh, no. You never heard of them. But the Purple Mountains, those should be easy to find. Oh, you know where it is? No, but come on, Purple Mountains. Most mountains are gray or white. Not a whole lot of purple ones around. I'm sure they'll be easy to spot. Yeah, no, it sounds like we'll need some help with that. We? Look, I don't know where this we thing came from. I am doing just fine on my own. Also, I definitely don't need another adventure. I'm done with adventures. From now on, I'm an unadventurous bird. No, you go off and find help for yourself. It's nice seeing you again. has told you to bring me there. In a dream, a dream. If I was going to start taking advice from my dreams, I'd be in a whole heap of troubles. It wasn't just a dream, it was a vision. Dreams, visions, nightmares, hallucinations, they all belong under the same general heading of really bad ideas. Well, I don't have anything else to go on, so I guess that's where I'm heading. The Purple Mountains. Hey, Crow, can you check out that metal thingy up there? What? The door handle I removed in order to get some privacy and... Oh. Seriously? One door handle coming right up. I mean, down. you were staying put. In this godforsaken pigeon's nest? I'm done living like a gnat catcher and not having any adventures. It was fun for a while, but I'm ready to live again. Um, so what exactly is this thing we're doing? Uh, finding someone who can help me get to the Purple Mountains and the first dreamer. And what kind of adventure are we talking about here? A light stroll along safe, well-lit streets, camping out in the woods under mostly clear skies? Facing potentially life-threatening dangers on perilous mountain paths? I'd say that last one is a distinct possibility. Oh, great. That's great. Already regretting this. Is there a plan, or are we just winging it? Ha <laughs> ha! Mm, depends. Are the rebels still around? I've heard mentions of rebels, yes, mostly preceded by cursing and followed by loud calls for slit throats and severed heads. That's our plan then. Find the rebels. Um. Any idea where we can find the rebels? 
I've only been back a couple of months and I've mostly been nesting, so... No, no idea. Great. Wait, nesting? Isn't that something only... Stop! Let me stop you right there. And let's never speak of this again. What's this? The journeyman is closed, but all patrons and well-wishers are welcome at the Rooster and Kitten on Irene Avenue near Southgate. And here's a drawing of a rooster and a kitten, just to avoid any confusion, I guess. That's right. A pussy riding a... I mean, a kitten. On a cock. A, a rooster. Is it just me, or is that, uh... Not just you. Good. 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 Well, this is as good a clue as any. To the cock and the rooster and kitten we go. This is crazy. These pipes are everywhere. I'm sure they weren't here the last time around. Well, I remember some of it. Things do look a little different. But, you know, wow, I'm back. And it wasn't a crazy coma dream after I all. I have to say, I'll be relieved when they're finally done with all this construction work. Fear them, the enemy. For they are close. They are everywhere. Admit, I'm quite relieved there's less sorcery about these days. Makes life a bit more. So, what's your take on this, Hillary? The National Front guy? On my honor. They're preparing for a shindig of some kind. Any celebration that involves burning large sacks of hay is guaranteed success in my book. I, must admit, I fit I'm right in with the locals. <sighs> Makes sense. Sure, why not? Makes so, sense. Oh, they want us to celebrate the whole. Uh, pretty good. I mean. I'm going inside. Wait for me. What else can a free bird do? I need the open sky over my head. Or at least a proper hole in the roof. I'll be right here. Or over there. Where there's cheese and... Ooh, is that a bread crust? Don't look at me. I'm not. I'm going in. Welcome to the Rooster and Kitten. Hey, um, greetings. Well, uh, met? What? What? I don't know. I'm foreign. You don't say. From where exactly? I, I'm a traveler myself, but I can't quite place the accent. I have no idea. I wish I'd taken those improv classes now. I'm just going to wing it. Say something. Say anything. I wish I'd taken those improv... Say something. Say... Uh, west. Just... Back west. Far, far back. What? Has it here? F further left. West. Further west. I didn't think there was a further west. I thought as a deer was as far west as west goes before it's east again. Right. Well, you know... East, but by, by way of the West. That makes no sense to me, but then there is much that I haven't seen yet during my travels. 
What's this land named? Americanada. Americanada. Yep. Home sweet Americanada. So what'll it be today? I'm sorry, what? You know, you're not the first person confused by that question, even though by all appearances this is a drinking establishment. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Is it my demeanor? Do I not appear appropriately barkeepish? No, no, you're absolutely barkeepish. You exude publicanism. Um, drinks. There appear to be festivities going on in the city. When in Rome, what do you order in an old-timey tavern? These clothes are warm and itchy, and I'm in dire need of a beer. Um, beer? Coming right up, my dear. Are you certain you're in the right place? Not at all. Honesty? Ha! Ah, I like it. It's all too rare these days. Well, from your attire and, and, well, all of you, I'd say you're probably looking for a place up High Hall, not down here, Dockside. This is a rough neighborhood and, well, you do stand out in my usual crowd of ne'er-do-wells, and standing out isn't always a good thing these days. I'm certain this place has some connection with the resistance. I should, maybe he's right, or maybe he's just trying, I'm certain this, no, this is my kind of place. I'm into dives. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Oh, that's the nicest thing anyone said about my pub in a long time. Really? Maybe it's a language thing. So what else can I help you with, young lady? The city has changed quite a bit since my last visit. Fewer non-humans and more. I saw some soldiers on my way here. I wonder if the Azadi still have a... There's some sort of festival going on. The Reaping? This pub was not called the Rooster and Kitten the last time I was here. I've only seen humans so far. There used to be blue people, furry people, non... He mentioned something about a ceremony at the tower. I wonder why they're flying those kites above the... He meant... I've only seen humans so far. Where are all the magical races? Oh, you don't know? Well, you are foreign. Uh, they've been, um, what's the word? Repatriated to their original homelands. Well, it's for their own good. Mercuria is a human city now. There's really no need for sorcery anymore. Well, the Magicals are better off in the South, I'm sure. You don't sound convinced. Well, I am sure. This pub was... N the city has changed. It's been a while since I was here last. What's new? Given your age... Uh, pardon me, I didn't mean to presume. <clears throat> Perhaps your last visit wasn't so long ago. Oh, a year and a half, at least. At least? Well, there's no old town anymore. They burned the ghetto to the ground and shipped non-humans off to the islands. Also, the Azadi have built a network of metal tubes. It's everywhere. No one knows what it's for, but there it is. It's supposed to make things uh, efficient. And they finished their tower. It's cordoned off until next week's grand ceremony, but it's an impressive structure. Tallest in all the Northlands, they say. This pub... Didn't this used to be the, uh, the... Oh, the cock and puss. Someone's bright idea of a joke. Oh, we all get it. The cocky cockerel with a permanent frown on his face. Clever wordplay. Look at us, aren't we punny? Yeah, w wait, what? I didn't approve. Too clever for its own good. But the painting of a tiny pussycat with a big smile riding on top of a proud capon. That idea I could get behind. It's sweet. It's sincere. It's family friendly. It's how I like my clientele to see me. I saw some soldiers. The Azadi are still running the city. Oh, they're not. The council runs the city. The emissary is... She's an advisor. Her advice is invaluable, of great value to all of us. Sounds like a good arrangement. And the soldiers everywhere? For our protection and benefaction. They keep us safe from enemies outside and, and inside, from rebel terrorists and, and the like. 
there's some sort of... I keep hearing about the reaping. Reap moon, feast of reaping. I thought this was where you came to Mercuria. Uh, yes, I did. This is the reason for the coming to Mercuria, but I, I didn't read the literature before booking everything and, well... The reaping is the harvest festival. It's when the farmers bring their produce to the city markets. We celebrate this occasion with an entire month of reveling, culminating in the Feast of Reaping on Reap Moon's Eve. It's a giving of thanks to the earth and sky, the balance, the gods and goddesses for providing food for the dark months ahead. And it's a fantastic excuse for eating and drinking as much as you can stomach. He mentioned something about a ceremony at the time. What's the grand ceremony about? It's the official unveiling of the Tube Network. I reckon it's where they'll tell us all about how things will be efficient in the future. The ceremony is taking place next week, on the day of the Feast of Reaping. The emissary probably thought it would contribute to the celebrations. Won't make much of a difference to us Mercurians, to be honest. We'll still eat too much, drink too much, and pass out in the gutters when the sun rises. I mean, it's tradition, and tradition must be honoured. I wonder why they're flying those kites above the city. Are the red kites significant in some way? Kites? You mean the dragons? They're traditional, but it's frowned upon. See, these days they're more of a, a symbol. They represent magic. The balance, the, the dry kin. And they represent resistance to the Azadi, to the new laws, to the exile of magicals. If you're caught with a dragon, or even if you stand too close to someone flying a dragon, the guards will arrest you. You will be punished. Best to ignore them and avoid trouble, because that's what those dragons are, trouble. If this place has a... What do you know about the resistance? You know, rebels, rebel movement, the, the magical insurgency, no? We don't discuss terrorists here, madam. Oh, right, I'm sorry, I didn't mean I was just curious. Tell you what, there's someone you might want to talk to over in the smithy in City Green. It's on the far side, close to the gate into the bones. Go knock on the door. Tell them you're there to inquire about the library. But now I'm afraid I have some work to do. I've been neglecting my other customers for too long. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for all your help. I got a lead on the resistance. While I'm looking into that, there's something I want you to do. A mission. Mission is my middle name. No, that's not true. It's Edward. Nope, also a lie. I just always wanted to be an Edward. I need a bird's eye view of things. Are you trying to get rid of me, Zoe? Of course not. But I'll feel much safer if you're watching out for me up there while I'm following up on our lead down here. I feel a swelling in my chest cavity that can only mean one thing. Pride? No, an imminent burp. But I will do this thing that you ask of me, and I will feign pride if you need me to. <sighs> Knock yourself out. Geronimo! Except in reverse! A minareg! I fit right in with the locals. So, how's business? Uh, pretty good. I mean... Ow. 
I must admit that I'm getting rather excited about seeing their newfangled tunes now. What are those called again? Old Wayne, Al Wang, something like that. They're docile, like giant hippos. Wait, are hippos docile or are they deadly? I think deadly. Great. Ye old smithy. No, that's not what it says. It just says blacksmith. This is not a Renaissance fair, Zoe. Hello, I'm here about the... the library. I know, it's a weird opener, but I was told that this is... Okay, we're going inside. Knows what, exactly? That Kian is alive. And Shadow knows what else he told the General. They spoke. My men saw the General entering the engine room in the green. Alvani was spotted leaving the house soon after. They were alone in there with one of the engineers. Ferdows, I believe his name is. He's nowhere to be found. Harmy must have stowed him away somewhere. A witness! So he knows that you've lied to him? Oh, he will not confront you with this yet. Not until he knows why and what we're planning. Yes, Army is as clever as a rock snake and twice as deadly. We need to get rid of him. Mother Utana, too. He must have told her. They're thick as thieves. The only question is, have they informed the first? Not without more evidence. There's still time. You're speaking of assassination. What else would you suggest? We crossed the line long ago, Vamon. There's no way back. I can't just walk into Harmy's cell and cut his throat. It needs to look like an accident. The ceremony. It's a week from now. We can't afford to wait. We can't afford to be hasty. Until he has concrete evidence of our treachery, the General will continue his investigations. The ceremony, then. We kill them both and make it look like the work of the Resistance. But if he acts before then, I need to be ready. I need to inform those who are loyal to... Come here, my sweet. Don't worry. We will survive this. We always survive. We've worked too hard to fail now. The engine will be ours. The Northlands will be ours. The General's men will pull back to Azadir. The Council will not mount another campaign. They cannot afford it. They lack the support of the people. And then we return in triumph, carrying the light of the goddess, and we destroy our enemies. We rule as a dear, as we've always planned. We will not fail, my love. I will be Empress, and you, my supreme commander. This is the will of the goddess. I know it is. I know it.
What is this place? Where are you taking me? Can someone please say something? You are the resistance, right? You know, instead of abducting me, you could have just asked nicely. I would have come with you. I wanted to come with you. Not talking? Fine. Take me to your leader. I've always wanted to say that. Shepard's busy. She'll talk to you later. So now you are speaking to me? Good. I'd like to... Wait. I remember that man. Isn't that... Stop talking. Keep walking. But I know him. Shut up. Absolutely not. No. You cannot leave Mercuria now. If you go to Guillen... What if they find you? They'll kill you. So they kill me. I understand the risks, Emma. I know you want to protect him, but he is one child. If you end up dead, what do we do? You carry on. You're stronger now. You can fight them. You know that's not true. The General has brought more troops from Azadir. Our situation is precarious. I'll go with him. And make sure he stays alive. What? You will not. And we lose the both of you? We were lucky we didn't lose more people when Old Town burned. It's only a matter of time before the Azadi make a decisive strike against us. Boys, I'm as soft-hearted as a zidling schoolgirl, and Bip's my friend too. But I agree with Shepard. We can't risk it. It's not just about the boy. If I go to Guillen, to the camps, I will find evidence of what they're doing to the Magicals. And if General Hami and Mother Otana learn the truth of what's being done to innocent creatures, perhaps they'll... You've proven that you see Magicals as people. I'd appreciate the same consideration now. People. Women, children, the defenseless. If Hami and Otana learn the truth, they may have a change of heart. They may pull their support. We can't win this war on our own. Vamon and Saya are too strong. With Hami's men on their side, they'll be unbeatable. But if we undermine this support, even if Hami does not join our side, our chances will improve. Force me to stay, and we only delay the inevitable. Let me go, and we could win this war. Decisions. I won't stand in your way. I don't like this one bit. When are you leaving? Right away. If I can sneak on board a cloud ship leaving for the islands tonight. Which means there's not a lot of time. Well, don't let me stand in your way. Go be a hero or whatever. thing I said about being a hero or whatever, that came out all wrong. I'm sorry, I... It's scary how easy it is to forget about individuals when you're so wrapped up in fighting for the so-called greater good. There's all this talk about our cause and the big picture and... and... you have to go. That's what makes us people. It's not really about the greater good, it's about all those little goods that we do every day to each other. And this is that greatest little good of them all. One boy's life. It matters. And I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize to me, Ellen. But thank you. Just... don't die. <laughs> That's all. Don't die and I'll be fine. The symbol of the magical resistance. A dragon, or dry kin as they're called in the mythology of the balance. It's a powerful icon. Most of the books were burned or otherwise damaged. Some were stolen, removed, hidden away. There are still enough books here to fill hundreds of long evenings and sleepless nights. I've read a number of them, though many are written in languages I've yet to learn. 
I know they've been working to recover the lost books, to someday rebuild the Grand Library of the Sentinel Order. I've been told that this is the White of the Dry Kin, the White Dragon, an important part of the ancient faith of the Order of the Balance. My favorite stories are traveler's tales, describing journeys across the Northlands, Southlands, and the islands, places I've yet to visit. You are doing the right thing. Shepard, she's... Well, Shepard carries a great load. It's hard for her to lift her eyes beyond this moment. She's afraid of losing you, Kia. Having you here has given everyone hope. I trust you will keep that hope alive. I have not forgotten. I will do my part while you are gone. I owe them this. So when is your shepherd going to talk to me? I don't need to be locked up like this. Normally I join in the spy. question, I'm... but oh, I don't have the time now. It's a long story, what's the point? You don't make the decisions. This is a waste of everyone's time. Just know that every minute I spend here is another minute lost trying to save the world. I mean, no rush, just a friendly FYI. Whenever we bring someone in, their question's in there. If they refuse to answer, they're brought downstairs. Not everyone's comfortable with the screams. So... You're heading off on a little cruise across the sea, are you? I know Shepard has her reservations, but I'm with you on this one, boy. We can try and preserve the status quo here for as long as possible, or we can go and do something foolhardy and dangerous and maybe win this war. So get your ass to Gian, save that boy, find the evidence, and come back with your limbs intact, or at least most of them. And let's end this thing, once and for all. There's nothing more to be said. You've made your case, Kian, and I cannot argue, even though I still believe the risk isn't worth it. You're not leaving without me. You're needed here, Liko. Those prisoners? They are my people. Imprisoned by mine. This is almost certainly a suicide mission. If the Resistance loses us both, they stand no chance against the Tower. We can't lose you. They'll still have you. I will never be their leader. You have proven yourself. We need you. To have any chance of defeating Sire and Vermont, we need to show General Harmy what's happening to the Magicals. <sighs> Try not to get yourself killed, Kian. You still plan to kill me after? Of course. Well, I wouldn't want to miss that. There's no time for that now.
this ship taking off? In a few minutes, I think. It's fully loaded, barely any room in the hold. Is that the last of the magicals, then? From the ghetto, yeah. I mean, there are still stragglers. Uh, I see them around walking freely like they're actual people and not animals. That's disgusting. Oh, well, they're not really animals, are they? I mean, they're, like, intelligent. At least some of them. No, they're filthy animals. Good riddance to them. Well, I don't know. I had a long conversation about farming with a Dolmari last year at the Rooster. She seemed nice. You'll want to be careful talking about your love for the Magicals. There's a reason they're being shipped off to the camps, you know. But I... Oh, never mind. Anyway, you should be up there keeping watch, not down here talking to me. He's not paying attention. I could probably sneak up on him. Keon? Where are you? Oh, no, no. You're not going after him. He's not your responsibility. None of this is on you, Keon. It's not just the one life, Anna. It's not just Bib. The Azadi take the Magicals to the islands. They're not given passage to the Southlands. They never come back. It's all a lie. The old and the young families sent away to die, forgotten by everyone. That ends now. I refuse to forget. The Resistance will persevere without me. I'm not really one of them. I never was, I never will be. I'm a Zadi. You're a Zadi. So what? I'm not saying what they're doing is acceptable, but... Are you going to free every Magical on your own? Take on the entire Zadi army single-handed? You're being stupid and emotional and... And you're being selfish. You're leaving us when we need you the most. You're leaving me. Again. What do you mean by... My name isn't Anna. I use a different name in every city. It's safer that way. In Sadir, I was Elena, but I never told you my name. You don't recognize me. That's fair, I've changed. You haven't, except for the, you know, it's a good look for you. You're the girl I saved from Vamon's gang. Yeah, I'm the girl. What, that's it? I spent every day these past 20 years thinking about you, and I'm the girl. Oh, I feel so special now. Forgive me, Anna. Elena. I do remember you. Amon was trying to... Hurt me. And they would have killed me too if it hadn't been for you. You risked everything and you stood up for me. That was the first time anyone had shown me any kindness. You brought me to Mother Ritana and she took care of me for a while. I watched you from a distance for years until I was uh, forced to leave Sadir. But I knew I'd find you again someday, Kiana Vane. That was... a long time ago. I was a different person. No. You were a different person in between, but now? Now you are the boy I knew from all those years ago. The boy with his eyes and heart wide open. The boy who risked his life for others. The boy who... Oh, God damn it. This is why you have to go. Not because you're a Zadi, or because you're the Apostle, or the great hero of the Resistance, or because of your goddess, or... or because you're selfish. You have to go because this is who you are. The boy who saved my life. Will you help them while I'm gone? 
This isn't my war, Keon. Maybe not. But it is mine. And I believe what happens here will change the balance for all time to come. I didn't know you believed in the balance. I didn't. Will you help the Resistance in my absence? Fine. Fine! I'll help them. What was that for? For love, you idiot. I've loved you since you lifted me out of that gutter and saved my life. I've loved no one else. I don't know if I can... It's taken me over 20 years to find you. You'd better fucking come back, or believe me, Kian Avane, I will go to the first mountain and drag you back, kicking and screaming, to the world of the living. Stay right there. You're under arrest. Kian! Do not leave without me! Quick, pull me up! I could... No. The Resistance needs him here. I could use his help on this mission. No. The... No. I... I'm sorry, Liko. You bastard! Thank you.